Hi, it's Gina here from Blackfish Arts Tasmania. Beautiful autumnal day. Um, just coming on for 10 o'clock in the morning. And I'm standing in the doorway of the studio. Uh, just been sorting through some things in the studio, tidying up really. It's been um, havoc, like bombs hit it. But in tidying up, I've um, established just a few things that have come together in this last couple of weeks. I'm just going to go through them. Uh, I have a basket sitting here. It's actually two baskets. Let's see. Two baskets together that I've tied with these metal metal, I don't know what they call them, but there's two on the one side, which is the back, and one on the front, uh, so that the baskets stay together. And I plan to, you can see there's some cloth in there already, it's, that's been rained on, I plan to sink the basket in the creek for a few weeks and see what happens to the cloth. But before I can do that, uh, you may be able to see right here, there's a very wide gap and on all four sides. Uh, well, that's eight sides actually, two baskets. So I need to fill the gap. I, I don't want any fish or native lobsters or anything to get caught in there and damaged. So once I fix that, I'll have to put a stake in the ground, a long piece of wire attached to the basket and hang it in the creek, see what happens. Uh, my what if. My what if for this week. Uh, so in the studio, just been tidying up after weeks of um, throwing paint around and making prints and whatnot. Um, I have my office over there, textiles behind that board, assemblage in that corner paper storage there, then there's a table and those benches are collage, paperwork, bookmaking. This is like my tidy area where I write and um, lay out some things to decide on. Uh, there's a work workbench for cutting and folding paper and board and whatnot. Got a little station here. Um, and round here, the tables are for painting, you can see the bookshelves there, and then the painting walls, acrylic, oil and pastel, and then more benches uh, for painting and drawing, and I do jelly prints, I've been playing with encaustic, and some storage stuff. my board, painting board. Uh, that was my dad's. That was my dad's um, drafting table. Look at it now. Uh, um, so, looking at uh, what's come together this week. Yep, let's start down here. So these are prints. Um, and it's a triptych called The Creek, A Portrait, Liminal Space. I'm loving the abstract nature of it. And the light across the water and reflections from the sky. So that's one set that's done. These are, well, it's going to be difficult photographing them. Oh, there you go. They're prints um, I'm trying to retain the wet feel which came from the mud print so I just extended it to my landscapes. Um, so two, two, and then my mud prints, well, um, so my shadow, let's get that out. So the mud prints, there's a set here of six. Um, I followed a worm for a day. And the first one is a straight out print of a photograph of mud on the right. 
Love it, love it. So this is a set, set of works. Um, here's another set of expanded landscapes. Okay, I'm upside down here. <laughs> expanded landscapes. You may be able to see that that landscape section in the middle is similar to the two we've just looked at. Um, the, the prints on paper, landscape prints on paper. And this is acrylic paint and um, archival inks, printed paper.